They're off, and Labor of Love is sent hard for the lead from the inside All-American Apex, and from the outside is Beach Baby, Beach Baby. Ashland Blue coming away in fourth. Illegally blonde, and the early trailer off stride is cool and cloudy. Around the turn to the backstretch, Pallone has All-American Apex on the front, leading by comfortable two lengths. On the inside, Labor of Love follows along in second. Beach Baby, Beach Baby is next in third. Ashland Blue on the inside follows. Quarter time was 28, three-fifths. Illegally Blonde on the inside races fifth, and far back and out of it is Cool and Cloudy. Around the turn, it's All-American Apex. The Western Hanover Philly leads by a length and a half, two lengths now. Labor of Love on the inside is still there, waiting patiently in second. Beach Baby, Beach Baby, and John Campbell on the inside third. Pierce has Ashland Blue in line fourth, now fishing for cover as he comes to the outside. At the pylons, racing in fifth, it's Illegally Blonde. Half was 58 and a four. All-American Apex with the lead a length and a half. Labor of Love sitting patiently on the inside. And now Ashland Blue will have to do it uncovered as she comes first up challenging from third. And Illegally Blonde is promptly moving to the outside, taking that cover. Down to the inside, Beach Baby, Beach Baby. The trailer is cool and cloudy. Down the back stretch, nearing three quarters. All-American Apex there by a length now. Ashland Blue on the outside, getting to the leader's wheel, pressuring in second. Three quarters and 128 as they round the final turn. All American Apex, Ashland Blue still coming to her on the outside. Labor of Love now trapped behind the leader, racing in third. Illegally Blonde is set to fire three wide from fourth. Top of the stretch, they turn for home. And down the stretch they come. All American Apex clinging to the lead. Here's Labor of Love out of the pocket to the outside. Is Illegally Blonde to the finish. All American Apex, Labor of Love, and a Legally Blonde together in one fifty-eight photo for win. Brian Sears wishing there was a passing lane here at Delaware as he was trapped with labor of love. It's official. And a track side winning the first division of the standard bread sponsored by CompuWare, the one All-American Apex. A Bay Philly by Western Hanover out of Apilia by Amber Crumby. Owned by George Lee in a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mickey Burke trains well driven here by Dave Pallone. It is the sixth career win for All-American Apex. Coming in from Pocono Downs, pacing this mile in one minute, 58 seconds. Been a good day for Hanover Shoe Farms. Western Hanover two-year-olds taking the uh, first two divisions of the Standard Breads. It was Western Saloon in the fourth race in the Philly All-American Apex in the fifth, and she was a little more expensive, a $65,000 yearling. Of course, uh, Lou Arno and Fred Hertrix, uh, All-American Standard Breds, the breeders of All-American Apex, who wins it for Dave Pallone and trainer Mickey Burke. Nice year for her, that's uh, six wins and 14 starts. In fact, she's been on the board in uh, 12 of 14, and now has another Grand Circuit victory to her credit in this division of the Standard Bred. Fifth race prices are in, All-American Apex, uh, one to five and barely alive.